Wow. Okay. Okay, Lawlers, welcome back to another Beginner Champ Guide. Today we're going to be covering off Mordekaiser. If you like Lord of the Rings, you're going to love this guy because he's basically Sauron. So before we start picking up an ability here, let's just quickly touch on his passive here, Darkness Rise. After three attacks with abilities or basic attacks, he's going to cloak himself and deal some damage and gain some move speed. Okay, so you want to make sure when you're fighting with Mordekaiser, you take extended trades if you can. Okay, Mordekaiser's quite good at that. He's a manaless champ, as you're going to notice, so it's really good to spam your abilities and also try and stay in those longer trades and engages if you can. Okay, so uh, first basic ability we're going to learn is the Q Obliterate. He smashes the ground with his mace here, and if you deal damage to an isolated target, it's going to deal more. If you hit a, a big group of them, it's going to deal less. So you can use this to try and trade with the enemy champion. You can also use it to try and last hit or push minion waves. Very good ability. Again, no mana cost. So if it's up, you should be looking to use it like we're going to here. Okay, we got the last hit on that minion. We also poked him. You can see it didn't deal that much damage to him because we also hit minions. If we can isolate that mace damage, it's going to do a little bit more. So here again, it doesn't matter if, it, if you can't isolate it, you should always be spamming it if you can. So if, if Nasus is going to sit in this minion wave, you want to make sure you're hitting him with that Q if you can. Okay, so we'll do that one more time. Okay, the edge of it is obviously a little bit bigger, so it's going to have a, a wider margin for error to miss. So if you can, again, you want to stay in the safety of that range and use it to try and last hit from a little bit farther and also knock that enemy champion a bit. Okay, second ability you usually want to pick up with Mordekaiser, depending on your matchup, but I usually like to pick up uh, E, Death's Grasp, second. This is basically a pull, so we're going to cast it, it's going to pull the champ in, and then you can kind of combo off with your Q there. So a very basic combo with Mordekaiser, if you're just picking him up, is to E the champion towards you, auto attack him once, and then land your Q. That's going to set off your passive. Remember, three auto attacks or three abilities sets off your passive. So if you can land the pull, the auto attack, and the Q, that's again one of those dream long engages where you just want to keep running him down. Okay, so you're going to pull, land the Q, and just keep running him down now. Auto attack in between, your passive will still stay up if you auto attack beautiful right so that's your basic trading combo with Mordekaiser what happens with your W now when we learn that to throw it in indestructible is it's basically a shield okay the more damage you deal and take you're gonna see this white bar fill up under your health bar that's gonna be that total shield amount that you can get when you actually press W the cool thing with W is if you press it and you you don't want to use the shield aspect of it. Let's say that you press it and the enemy champ just decides to run away and he doesn't want to trade with you anymore. You can press it again to get your heal off, okay? So let's just test it out right now. You can see I get that shield. If I press it again, I heal a little bit. It kind of turns the character model green and, and he heals for a percentage of that. It's not a huge heal by any means, but it does give you a little bit of sustain in lane just to help out with your trading. So because the Q is our main damage ability, we can use it for minions, we can use the last Hit, we can use the harass. We want to max that one first, okay? Max your Q first and deal the most damage with that. So we're going to try our, our combo again here. If you know the enemy champ is staying a little bit further away, land that pull, one auto attack, follow it up with the Q, and then just try and run them down and keep the trade as long as possible. You can see the Nasus is, you know, it's a bot, of course, but he's playing quite smart because he's running away from it, right? But you can see there, one Q plus two auto attacks gets our passive going again. So we just want to keep running him down and keep that going as long as we can. Again, we haven't had to use the W in these trades, but you can see here we're missing some health. We're going to press W once, press it again. It's going to consume the shield to get some health. So that's how you can use it after a trade, right? Just to get a little bit of sustain back. So E in, one auto attack, one Q, run him down again, okay? Very straightforward combo with Mordekaiser in order to win the lane. Where you might have trouble is if you can't land your E's, if you keep missing your E's, and if you keep missing your Q's, okay? If you happen to miss your E or you miss a Q, you still have cooldowns. And even though you don't have any mana, you still have cooldowns that the enemy can take advantage of if they're down. So just make sure you have no mana in your kit. Don't worry about it. If you miss a pull, like let's just say we fling a pull like this, all good, right? Back up, respect them. Maybe try and land a poke with your Q, but don't look for a serious 
all in trade, okay? You want to make sure your passive is up and going before you take a serious trade. Okay, so um, we're going to use the Q just to push this in a little bit here. We don't like to, to freeze the wave in front of enemy tower if we can help it. It'll actually come back to us now, so that's fine. Before we talk about the alt, I just want to clear one of these waves and go back and buy. So again, pull, auto attack, Q, and then just keep the trade going as long as you can now. Okay? <coughs> okay, perfect. So, let's head back to base, buy a little bit of items, and talk about the items that you want to work towards as Mordekaiser, and then we'll touch on our ultimate here, the uh, Realm of Death. Alright, so in the shop here it recommends some essential items. I'm fine with these and you can build them in whatever order you want. Um, generally with Mordekaiser, if you're ahead you can keep building damage. If you're even you can build some tanky and still be pretty effective. So again, kind of lane dependent, matchup depend dependent. But let's just pick up this Hextech Revolver for some damage. And we'll head back to lane here. While we walk back, let's talk about our ultimate here. Okay, so the Realm of Death. Mordekaiser banishes a champion to the Death Realm with them for 7 seconds, stealing 10% of their core stats for the duration. This is a very important aspect of this ultimate. The fact that you're stealing 10% of their stats. So that means all else equal, if you're both level 6, you have similar items, and you ult your enemy laner, you are going to be stronger. Okay? You, you can't forget about that. So if it's like going to be a close fight, you think it's going to go to the death, make sure you ult earlier rather than later because you want to steal those stats up front and be powerful. Okay? The other aspect of this, which is huge for Mordekaiser, which I really like about the ultimate, is it puts you two in the death realm. So you don't have to worry about playing against any other chance when you take someone to the death realm. So even if someone was going to come and gank you, or you were in a 5v5 fight and you just wanted to try and 1v1 with somebody, it takes them into that realm with you and it's just you versus them. So really, really good if you're, you know, learning the champ well, you're drawing 2v1s, you're drawing a lot of ganks, no problem. Just ult one of them and just play 1v1. When you kill them, Mordekaiser keeps those stats that he stole until the enemy respawns. So very easy to 2v1 with this guy. Okay, so let's take him to the death realm, pull him back with our E. Alt, right? Auto attack, auto attack. You can see he can't leave this death death realm now. Wow, very tanky. This <laughs> is very good on him. But we landed a bunch of Qs and we ulted at the you know at the start of the engage, which we knew we wanted to do because we we're gonna try and go for that all in play. And we used our, our kit effectively, and you can see we won that trade pretty hard. So all you have to do is just keep landing your Qs now if he wants to try and trade into us or get close to minions. And if he's going to get cheeky, we'll try and land a pull, auto attack, Q, auto attack, right? You can see that the passive again is when we want to make sure we keep extending the trades. We'll consume our shield now, get some health. In general, the strategy with the, with the heal or the shield, right? Because a lot of people don't know, you know, should I consume for the health or should I just use the shield aspect of it? The way I like to use the W for Mordekaiser is I want to let the white bar fill up as much as possible before I use it. In any case, right? Whether I use it for the shield or for the health, I want that white bar to fill up, okay? Because the, the more that's filled, the bigger shield and the bigger heal you're gonna get. So it's really cool for turning fights when the enemy thinks they have you on the ropes, you're at your last 25% health, and then you know you have a full white bar for the shield ready, you click W, all of a sudden you have another like 300 hit points worth of, uh, of shield. So if you're in a fight to the death and you're, you're not gonna just use it like when the enemy champ is not in lane, use it for the shield. Don't bother consuming for the health. Just leave it for the shield. Okay. If after a big engage you want to heal up and get some sustain, at that point I would click it again and activate for the heal. So you can see here I'm holding my E for when he tries to escape this time. Okay. So we didn't talk about that in our in our initial trading combo, just because generally you're probably not going to have someone walk straight up into melee range into your auto attack range as Mordekaiser. They're probably going to respect you a little bit more. So. You want to use the E to maybe initiate the engage and pull them into you and start the trade. But if, for example, somebody like this Nasus just walks straight into you, into your auto attack range, just auto attack them, cue them, auto attack again, and then if they try and escape, save your E to pull them back in after that. Right? It's a, it's a re-engage tool, you could think of it as as well. Okay, so there's not too much else to talk about with Mordekaiser. Um, let's cover off some of the big things, right? You have the pull, which auto-attack, Q starts your passive and your, your big trading kind of patterns. 
If you take damage like this from the turret, right, because you want to keep trading, that's fine. Pop, pop your W, you're going to get a big, big shield. You can pop it again to get some health if there's anything left. And then you're going to kind of max out your Q, you're going to max your E second, obviously. This is all after your ult. And if the enemy's missing, you can use your E like this to just help you clear your waves a little bit faster. Again, your Q, mana list, just spam it when it's up. Get those turret plates if you can. Get the last hits on the minions. You can see we've already taken half the health of this turret. Just keep beating it down. You know, another really cool thing about Mordekaiser, which I love, is they updated him not too long ago from what his old character model and, and kit used to be. And like I said, they really basically copied Sauron from Lord of the Rings. Even the way he hits towers is so cool, right? Like he's raiding the gates. It's, it's pretty amazing. He's also really obnoxious because the Q just eventually becomes so hard to handle. Like you can see the hitbox on the Q sometimes is so disgusting. I'm pretty sure I missed that and still hit him. So let's go back to base. <clears throat> We're going to try and finish off one of our first items here and we'll come back and do one more ultimate combo on him just so you guys can see how to use that and then we'll uh, let you guys get into some games. So we're going to finish off here the Hextech Peroto Belt. We'll also buy our Mercury Treads. And just for a speed sake, we'll TP back to lane. I'm going to ult this guy just so he can't get away, right? You can also ult because you don't want someone to get away because they have to stay in the circle with you, right? It, it's going to be a defined circle that they can't escape. So you want to, you know, be creative with your ultimate. Use it to, to fight off 1v2s, use it to win big 1v1s where you need to steal stats. You can see I have this crown above me now, that's me, you know, holding on to Nasus's stolen stats there. Use it to isolate priority targets. If you're in big team fights and there's one enemy champion who's really causing problems for your team, you know, use it to, to capture them and bring them to the death realm with you so that he has to 1v1 you. So you can see here, start with the auto attack, get the passive going. If he tries to escape, we'll use the pull. He didn't have a chance there. So easy peasy. You can use the uh, the proto belt obviously to clear waves after you buy that item. We'll see who's down here if we can... Uh, we can just get a little kill streak going here. Don't be afraid to use your E to help you push waves like that either. You know, if, if you've killed somebody, you want to make sure you push so you can reset. Let's see if we can go bully this Nasus one more time. Just for fun. So, um, the runes I'm running here, just in case you guys are wondering, I'm running Conqueror with uh, Taste of Blood and Ravenous Hunter just to give me the healing. Again, because we're looking for these big, long, engaged trades, you want to make sure you have Conqueror and the healing passives off those runes to really maximize the playstyle that you're going to be using with. So, he's going to try and escape. See, we'll pull him back there. And then one more Q. Easy. All right, guys, very powerful champ. Again, Manalus has sustained in his kit big spammy damage abilities and honestly one of the best ults in the game if you're in lower elos and one of the things that's screwing you over is 1v2 or getting ganked or in team fights one enemy champion is just wrecking your kind of low elo teammates that don't know how to play around it pick up Mordekaiser ult whoever you need to and show your prowess and your dominance in the 1v1s let me know if you guys have any comments and who you might want to see a champ guide for next I'll catch you in the next one